You know, it's like a serial killer. You do the murder, and you got to keep a piece of it to remember your accomplishments. Trophies. This is normal behavior. <laughs> Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine again. And if you're new here, meet my Peely bag. In it, you will find many different nail art and nail polish pieces that I peeled off my nails. A growing collection. I consider it more like art in progress. For the longtime holosexuals out there, you will have seen my Peely bag make appearances here and there in my videos. It's been three years and counting. And then you get to add your peel off manicures into your collection of a bunch of peel off manicures. Now it's that time again when we've peeled off our nails. We're gonna add them to the Peely bag. Ooh. But aside from that, I've never really shown what's in my Peely bag. I've seen so many requests for a what's in my Peely bag video or a tour of my Peely bag. Bitch in my bag, it's not a beauty blender or a Cartier bracelet. It's fucking nail Peelys. I figured with 2017 coming to an end, Thank God. Now would be the perfect time to go through my Peely bag together and reflect on what I wore on my nails this year. <gasps> wow, I did a lot of nail art this year. <laughs> no, I didn't. So the first question I think people out there may wonder is why? <laughs> why the hell do you keep these Peelys, you fucking weirdo? <laughs> you see, I have a problem with collecting things. Sweatpants, nail polish, lots and lots of tea. <laughs> but the nail peelies specifically are like trophies to me. I spent a lot of time and did a lot of hard work and they do not deserve to be thrown away. The other question I think some new people to my videos may ask, oh by the way, hi, welcome, please stay, is how the hell did you even peel your nails off? Like, what does that mean? And are you psychotic? <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> ago, I discovered what is called a peel-off base coat, which applies just like a regular clear nail polish base coat, after which you paint your nails or do your nail art as you normally would. And then a couple days later, when you feel like taking your nail polish off, instead of removing it the usual way by rubbing your nails with nail polish remover, all you have to do is lift up the nail polish peely, which has now hardened into a shell, and pop it right off. Now mind you, some peels are better than others, and that can depend on a number of factors, including how many coats of nail polish you put on, what kind of top coat you use, and so on and so on. All of these things are very important to ensuring a satisfying peel porn experience. Speaking of peel porn, if you're also wondering what the f I'm talking about, <laughs> that is something I started doing many years ago as a young adult, posting it to the internet. And one of my feature peel porn videos was just so damn hot that YouTube demonetized it because advertisers did not think it was friendly. <laughs> go back to bed now. Earmuffs. <laughs> Thank you, wanna help me pick a Peely? Now many of you guys have suggested that you want me to randomly draw from my Peely bag and try and recreate the design on my nails. And I think the people making that suggestion are very well aware that there's some complicated ass shit in this bag. I've just come to the conclusion that you guys like to see me suffer. So grab your tea and let's play Pick That Peely. Yeah! Okay, I'm closing my eyes. And I'm gonna pick a random peely. Ready? Ready? I wanna pick a full one, not a little crusty one. Oh, that's just plain blue hollow. Okay, we're not gonna do that one. <laughs> okay, let's draw again, ready? How about this nice big one? <laughs> oh God, what have I done? <laughs> I remember this, Peely. This is a cyclone reciprocal gradient. Kinda looks like an optical illusion gradient and you're not really sure how the hell I did it or in what order. <laughs> ah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> to the nail polish. There's one, there's another. I believe it was just these polishes, but let me double check. And right now I am very happy that I spend about an hour making sure my description boxes are very complete with all the stuff that I used. <laughs> because now I can confirm that these are in fact the exact nail polishes that I used to make this guy. Now we need nail vinyls. Where do I keep my nail vinyls these days? <laughs> and we're just gonna paint on a fresh coat of this aqua creme. Matthew, what are you doing? First we gotta protect our skin with some liquid latex. Does anyone remember the days before liquid latex? We had to use tape or 
acetone and Q-tips. <laughs> Paint the polish vertically on a makeup sponge. And now we gonna dab, dab, dab. I'm like sweating. <laughs> Let's peel off the liquid latex. And now we're gonna add a nice thick coat of glossy taco because we're gonna add nail vinyls next. Memories, nostalgia. How I missed you, cat clock. Because we gotta let the glossy taco dry really well before putting nail vinyls on. How about we pick our next peely? Bring me the bag. Ready? The Dolan twins. No, we're gonna pick again. <laughs> Rainbow hollow. Oh yeah. Sometimes you can tell the age of a peely by how tightly it's curled. It's like you gotta flatten it out on your nail. Oh, I popped a peely. And let's take a trip down peely lane for a second and reminisce. These were one of my first nail art tutorials that went viral. All you need is some silver hollow glitter polish and some highlighters. Paint on one thin coat of the silver hollow glitter first and then you know the drill. We're gonna dab, dab, dab to maximize glitter opacity. One of the oldest tricks in the books. Okay, we've got my peely here for reference. So if I recall correctly, all you gotta do is take your highlighters and color right over top of the hollow glitter. Oh God, it's not that dry. <laughs> Why is this turning out so much shittier? <laughs> Guys! No! Help me! Oh, f Damn it. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> the conspiracy theories are true. Simply and Illogical really died last year and was replaced by someone who can't do their nails. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Melissa. <laughs> I could take it off and start over again and probably get it right the second time. But I don't think that would be fair for the purposes of this challenge. The point was to see if I could recreate it the first time, not give me multiple attempts. Because after all, you only have one life in this game called life. And if you use it, you die. I am a very optimistic person. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna add a glassy taco on this and, uh, you know, call it a day. Now let's go back to my unfinished reciprocal cyclone gradient now. First, we're gonna add some liquid latex again. Peel up a vinyl, yay! And just press it down gently. But wait, do you see? What's on my other hand? It's a tradition this channel just can't give up. Whether I'm making a nail video or not, <laughs> I always want to show you what's on my other hand. And today we have a, insert the blank here, hollow polish, and it's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, anyways. Now we're gonna take our sponge from our first gradient, and we're gonna cut the sponge. Oh yeah, that's so satisfying. Save the sponges! <laughs> Okay, let's peel, ready? <sighs> oh my god! <laughs> the lines aren't super perfect and crisp, but it's still pretty damn good. Guess I've still got it. Now the one thing missing to make it exactly the same is to add a hollow taco. Ooh, she's back. Okay, one fail, one success. What's next? Let's ask the peely bag. <gasps> oh. Now that is a classic. I think this is one of the first few videos I ever showed my face in. Wow, that's a throwback. Look, it fits so perfectly. I'll just put it back on. <laughs> All right, which color was first? Where's my reference material? Oh, there it is. So you just kind of gently pat down a barely wet brush. And I had definitely added a hollow taco. Benji, pass me the hollow taco. Thank you. So now you know it wasn't just a phase. Mm -mm. Here I am, two and a half years later, still adding a hollow taco to everything. <laughs> While we let that dry, let's pick another peely. Menchie, do you want to pick this one? Put your paw in there. <laughs> okay, she's sick of my shit, so. <gasps> oh, I remember this guy. This was a dotty cure that ended up looking like one of those colorblind tests. Shit, okay, I can do this one. Oh shit, I need striping tape. Menchie, it's been so long! Paint on a white base, add a quick dry glassy taco, and while we let that dry, we're gonna go back to the pointer nail. This is a lot of back and forth. And paint on our black acrylic design. Oh no, I did 
did that one too close. Oh no, oh no, undo. Luckily, thanks to the toothpick trick, we can essentially undo it. It has saved my life many times. Okay, how'd I do? It's pretty good. It's just, uh, you know, slightly on a bigger scale than the original. <laughs> now we just add a nice thick coat of glassy taco. Let's revisit the thumb. So for this one, you're gonna need some striping tape. Oh, the good old days of finding the goddamn end of the fucking striping tape. I can't find it. Someone help me. You basically gotta make the striping tape look like a braid. I'm really struggling with doing this so far ahead of my face. So I'm just gonna do it like this. I mean, if you really want a tutorial, there is already a tutorial on my channel. If you can find it. <laughs> oh God, I, I didn't, no. <laughs> polish is a little crusty. Now we add a nice thick coat, glassy taco. And I totally used the wrong orange, didn't I? <laughs> yes, I did. So much for looking in your detailed description boxes, Christine. All right, now it's time for the final Peely draw. And what'll it be, Menchie? Pick the Peely, what'll it be? <laughs> you see, as beautiful as it is, this glitter placement took me about six or seven hours. You know what? Oh, would you look at that? It's the perfect fit. I think in order to preserve my sanity, we're just gonna stick this peely right back on the nail. Of course, we gotta use a peel off base coat so I can peel off the peely. And then all you gotta do is just drop it on. If I'd actually tried to redo it, it would not look this good, so. <laughs> and all right, I think we're all done here. We have successfully recreated, with a little bit of cheating, five historical nail peely artifacts from the Simply Nailogical channel. And these were just five of what has to be several hundreds of peelies. How about we do a little abridged tour for the peelies that didn't get the spotlight today? Oh, oh, I'm gonna pick up this one. <laughs> if you think that's my cat hair, yes, you are correct. It is. These were my Menchie mustache nails, and they were a hit. Right, Menchie? Right? That's right. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Scaled gradient. Mm-mm. Those were the days. <laughs> Look, I even saved this. It says one plus one equals window. That's pretty. Oh, yes. These were my oil slick foil nails. Oh, I love that shit. <laughs> Look, it's an old shriveled up Donald Trump. Secret security service, please do not come after me. And how could we forget my two trips to Polish Mountain? It's so crazy how much these shrunk. My nails were definitely not this small. They just shriveled up over time. They look like little colorful raisins. That's kind of creepy. Is that what our bodies do after we die? <laughs> I also saved the peelies and the little pieces of real gold nail polish from that time Sophia and I went to the luxury nail salon. And of course we got my most recent peely, Mr. Snow Globe Man. As I reflect on the past year of this channel, I think about how very early in the year I had a very tragic nail break. It was devastating. And as a result of that, while my nail was healing, I did a bunch of other random kinds of videos, pretty much anything but nail art. <laughs> but then my nail healed and I found myself honestly wanting to continue doing more fun and more involved videos with my face in front of the camera, instead of just kind of sitting there in the dark, painting my nails and adding a voiceover later. I was having too much fun and I just wanted to keep having fun. <laughs> it's the Jenna Marbles model, okay? It's where you do whatever the f you want. My channel just morphed into <laughs> Jenna's selfish time where I do whatever's gonna make me laugh. Because it makes you laugh. And luckily, as it turns out, a lot of you guys were also laughing along with me. Maybe add me. Either way. And now I would like to turn into a sock and say a big mushy thank you to all of you who've enjoyed my videos over here on Simply Anything But Nail Art Logical. I really do appreciate you guys sticking around and still loving and enjoying my videos, even though I've completely departed from what I started this channel as. <laughs> I'm getting nervous hives. I'm not good at this shit. I hate mushy shit. <laughs> I'm just a sock! I've just been really happy and enjoying, you know, making more fun and interactive content and taking suggestions from you guys and doing little skits outside and whatnot and having Ben join me and drinking tea on my second channel and then she always in the background. It's been fun and I see all your guys' comments and tweets and memes of me and you make me laugh too. Let's, let's all remember that. I am thankful for you guys making me laugh. Because as my channel art that I have not changed in over three years says, you gotta have some fun before you die.
Angie, what do you think? You she, she's not impressed. <laughs> still got it simply. Or did you just glue them on or you actually redid it? I glued this one on. <laughs> Could you do magic eye nails? Like you have to look at the nail a certain way to see like the image of a cat chasing a mouse or something. I'm retired. You're retired. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to 2018. It's gonna be a good year. Of what on this channel? I don't know yet, but you should subscribe today to find out. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. You want to do it with me? That would be so nice to close off the year. Yeah. Ready? All right, everyone. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much for watching, watching and we'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.